Hi, I'm Dr. Rashmi Roy, your very own goiter guru and senior thyroid surgeon at the Hospital for Endocrine Surgery. So today we're continuing our series of myths versus facts, and we're doing a special episode for the first annual Hashimoto's Disease Awareness Day. Um, so Hashimoto's is a very common thyroid disorder that affects women and even men. However, it goes misunderstood, misdiagnosed um, for years. So we're gonna debunk the most common myths that I hear in today's series. Myth number one, Hashimoto's disease is not a big deal. It's just a slow thyroid. So myth, Hashimoto's is a big deal. Hashimoto's disease is essentially an autoimmune disease where your immune system or your body attacks your thyroid gland and over time it decreases the function of the thyroid gland being the most common reason for hypothyroidism or low thyroid function, and will therefore give you symptoms of weight gain, fatigue, uh, brain fog, memory loss, brittle nails, hair thinning, um, and just overall decreased energy. And these symptoms can be mistaken for old age, or getting older or menopause, um, and just often goes misdiagnosed. So if you have any of these symptoms, you really want to think about the fact or the thought, you know, do I have Hashimoto's disease? Myth number two, Hashimoto's disease does not cause any symptoms. Well, the fact of the matter is that for some people, Hashimoto's doesn't cause symptoms for a really long time. And some patients don't know that they even have it because they feel okay. Um, but when they do some thyroid blood work, they see that they have Hashimoto's antibodies. However, other patients are really struggling with their Hashimoto symptoms, with the symptoms that I just mentioned of weight gain, fatigue, memory loss, brain fog, things like that, and they're going misdiagnosed um, or not even diagnosed. So it's really important to, in addition to getting your thyroid blood work, your normal thyroid blood work checks of TSH, T3, T4, also getting your thyroid antibodies checked. Um, to just make sure that you don't have Hashimoto's disease because early detection is key to taking care of your symptoms. Myth number three, Hashimoto's disease only affects older women. Not true. Hashimoto's disease is more common in women than men, but men can suffer from Hashimoto's disease and women of any age, even young women can have Hashimoto's disease. Um, so that's why it's really important to be in tune with your body, see what you know, new symptoms are arising that aren't going away, um, and being an advocate for yourself and getting your thyroid blood work checked along with those thyroid antibodies checked to see if in fact you may have Hashimoto's disease. Myth number four, Hashimoto's disease is the same thing as being hypothyroid. So it's not the same thing. Um, Hashimoto's disease is the most common reason for being hypothyroid, but many patients have Hashimoto's disease in their early stages and actually have normal thyroid function. Um, and there are patients that are hypothyroid that don't have Hashimoto's disease. Um, so they're not one and the same. They do go together sometimes, um, but it's not one and the same thing. So again, important to get those antibodies checked to see if you have Hashimoto's disease um, and to stay on top of your symptoms. Myth number five. Hashimoto's disease does not cause thyroid cancer. So it's true, Hashimoto's does not cause thyroid cancer. However, chronic inflammation of the thyroid gland, which is what Hashimoto's um, does to the thyroid gland, can cause and does cause structural changes of the thyroid. So Hashimoto's patients are at a slightly increased risk of developing thyroid cancer um, than a patient that has a beautiful normal thyroid gland. Um, so it's really important to uh, get yearly ultrasounds if you do have a Hashimoto's thyroid um, to make sure that your nodules are not suspicious. If you do have a nodule to get a, to get a biopsy to make sure that you know, it's just an inflammatory nodule and nothing more to be concerned about. Again, don't panic that if you have Hashimoto's disease, you're going to get thyroid cancer. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying there's a slightly increased risk. So just stay on top of your thyroid um, with yearly ultrasounds. Myth number six, Hashimoto's disease will always require thyroid surgery. Absolutely not true. For the most part, and this is probably the most important myth to take for a take home point, 
is that most patients with Hashimoto's disease, 85 to 90 percent of patients, will do great on medication, um, and that will be the mainstay of treatment. There is a subgroup of patients that will benefit from thyroid surgery, and it's a small subgroup of patients. Um, so if you have Hashimoto's disease, don't just think you know getting your thyroid out is is the answer. Um, but if you are fall in any of these next categories, you may be a candidate for thyroid surgery and may seriously benefit from it. So if you have tried all different types of medication, uh, combination therapy, Synthroid, Armour therapy, you know all different types, and you are just kind of at you know your wit's end. Um, because no medication is working, but you're still really suffering from Hashimoto's disease, then surgery is going to be beneficial for you. If you are on the most medication that I that you can take, meaning that you're if you take any more thyroid medication, you're going to be hyperthyroid, and you're still having Hashimoto symptoms, um, then you would likely benefit from thyroid surgery um, because your thyroid is not responding to medication, and you know would benefit from it being removed. The next two patient, the next two groups of patients are patients where um, they, the one set, they develop a thyroid goiter, um, so it's called a Hashimoto's goiter, so it's causing compressive symptoms, um, and medication is not going to resolve the goiter, so you need your thyroid removed. And then the last group of patients are patients that have Hashimoto's where they have thyroid nodules that are suspicious for a thyroid cancer. So medication will not fix the uh, potential thyroid cancer, and those patients will need thyroid surgery. Um, so those are the four subgroups of patients with Hashimoto's that would be likely benefit from thyroid surgery. So if you think that you fall into a category that you need thyroid surgery, um, then you can reach out to us at thyroidcancer.com.